Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin are completing the third longest space flight in human spaceflight history at 371 days, eclipsed only by Valery Polyakov, 438 days, and Sergei Avdeyev's mission of 380 days. And now this view inside the uh, Prashal module of the uh, International Space Station. There's a view of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft as uh, the International Space Station flies 255 statute miles over the South Atlantic. And a view of Frank Rubio, soon to depart the International Space Station. Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin originally were uh, scheduled to spend just six months on the, on the station, but a uh, coolant leak developed in their original Soyuz that brought them to the station, the Soyuz MS-22, back uh, on December 14th last year. And uh, a replacement Soyuz was launched unpiloted and automatically docked to the station. That's the Soyuz MS-23 that they'll be returning home in a short time from now. And with the photo fest now having been completed, uh, final handshakes between the crew members. And we'll be seeing uh, Procopia, Patelin, and Rubio enter the Soyuz vehicle momentarily. Sergei Prokopiev entering uh, the Soyuz with his crewmates. They are entering into the upper section of the Soyuz called the orbital module, which uh, is basically uh, designed uh, to provide the crew members a bit of space we are ready to close before they move into the center section, which is the descent module of the spacecraft. At the time of undocking, Expedition 69 will come to an end. Expedition 70 formally begins. And there goes the hatch on the Prashal module side of the docking interface. And uh, the hatch closed on the uh, Prashal module at 11.38 p.m. Central Time, 12.38 a.m. Eastern Time. And we now have confirmation that the Soyuz hatch is closed at 11.41 p.m. Central Time, 12.41 a.m. Eastern Time. So the hatches on both sides of the docking interface are now closed. Leak checks so will get underway. And uh, the crew, the departing crew, Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin, will begin to don their Sokol launch and entry suits.